Uh, um, that's a good question. I mean, J.K. Rowling was a classicist, right? She studied classics. I, like most of my generation, was enthralled with Harry Potter at the time. And I really did feel somewhat magical in the, in the, in the silliest and in corniest of ways. Thinking about the old comedy of the Greeks, and the closest thing that we have in comparison to that is South Park. It's Charleston, which, having spent quite a bit of time there myself, I find that it often reminds me of the ancient world. Why is that there? You would never expect a Parthenon to be in Tennessee. I mean, that you could buy, like, Ben-Hur towels and things. I mean, there was, like, Ben-Hur soap. It was, like, a cultural watershed moment in, like, U.S. history at the time. And he starts going into this monologue in ancient Greek at the Theater of Dionysus, and I just started sobbing. Rather than something like Spanish, which I studied but never practiced, it never felt real. Latin felt real, and it, and it felt... It, it, it connected with me on a particular level. With the Greeks, and definitely with Shakespeare too, but, but but I think even more so with the Greeks because it's even further back in history. There's the there's the idea that the historical is put up on this pedestal, and this specifically like academic pedestal. We must daily justify the things that we study. Joy is what's lost when classics are lost. I am Kelly Webb. I'm uh, Mark Ringer. I'm Jared Samard. My name is Del Matisic. And it's fun. It's good stuff. This stuff isn't junk. You know, that's why it's been around.